Hey everyone, this is Muscle Nerd, and I'll be with you in just a second. I'm just going through my normal fits, trying to get to this quick thing working. I'm getting confirmation that this is actually going out before I speak for the next two or three minutes into nothingness. Um, I'm going to assume it's going out, just like I did last time. So here we go. Hey everyone, this is Muscle Nerd, and uh, I'm a member of the iPhone Dev team. Um, and in this demo, this live demo, I'm going to show you the world's first software unlock for the iPhone 3G running the new 3.0 firmware. Now back in December we demoed our first version of the 3G unlock and we called it Yellow Snow. It allowed you to use your 3G with any carrier without whether or not that carrier was officially allowed by Apple, whether it was a sanctioned carrier. We released Yellow Snow on New Year's Day, but since that time Apple has closed the injection vector that Yellow Snow uses. As a result, anyone buying a phone with the fixed firmware, or anyone who accidentally upgraded their firmware, could no longer use Yellowstone. This is going to be a big problem for anyone wanting to run Apple's latest and greatest firmware, 3.0. The dev team's glad to say that we have a new version of Yellowstone for the 3G iPhone, and we're calling it Ultra Snow. Ultra Snow is the new Yellowstone. Ultra Snow is a software unlock for any 3G running Apple's new 3.0 firmware. So no matter which firmware, or bootloader, or previous baseband that you've had on your 3G, Ultra Snow will unlock it, as long as you're at the 3.0 firmware. Now, here's the phone I'm going to do this on. I'm going to show, show you Ultra Snow unlocking my 3G in just a second. But I'm going to get a little technical, and I'll try to make this very brief. The actual program that Ultra Snow injects into the baseband to accomplish the unlock is the same exact one we developed for Yellow Snow. The payload is identical, it's the same payload. What's changed is that a new injection vector, a new hole, needed to be found through which we could inject the unlocking payload. We're happy to say that this time around, the hole that we used came from one of you. An iPhone user named Oranav was tinkering around with commands in Minicom, and he found one that happened to cause the baseband to stop responding. Many commands that do that, that cause the baseband to jam up and to reboot, can be formulated into an injection vector for the soft unlock. And that's exactly what we did here. We'll have all the details about the actual command that crashed soon after the Ultra Snow release. We just, we don't want Apple to fix this at the very last uh, second. Okay, so now for the demo. This is my 3G, all right, so let me explain the setup. I'm logged in over here through SSH into my iPhone 3G. This uh, screen over here on the left is a VNC, um, basically an echoing of the screen that's on my iPhone 3G, just for a little bit more clarity, although I might be a little bit far for you to see that. So here we have a 3G iPhone. It's running the 3.0 firmware. You can tell that because I have a search screen. Um, you can tell it's jailbroken because I'm able to run programs like Terminal and Cydia. Um, more directly, you can tell because I'll go to Settings, General About, and hopefully on the screen back there you can see I'm running 3.0 down here. Um, my network is not available, we'll get to that in a second. You can see my modem firmware is 4.26.08, which is the one that comes with 3.0. But back to this guy, you can see I have no network. And you can also see I have no bars. And that's because I have a T-Mobile SIM in here. And I'll show that to you in a second because I have to pop it out. But what I'm going to do back here on the terminal through the SSH session is I'm going to actually inject UltraSnow. You won't have to do this step manually, of course. It'll just be like yellow snow um, when you get it through Cydia. But for this demo, it's not quite as polished. And we're just going to do the raw commands here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be holding this phone, I'm going to issue the Ultra Snow command sequence. It'll take about five or eight seconds to run. And then it's, it's uh, indicated here that the payload has been accepted and it's actually running. Again, for this demo only, I'm going to have to eject and then reinsert my SIM, but I'll take that time to show you that it's a, mobile sim. So I'll re-inject it and then after some initial confusion the iPhone all of a sudden will stop complaining 
And what we'll see in a moment is that first you'll see the edge symbol come up, and then you'll see the T-Mobile uh, carrier name come up. There's the edge symbol. There's the T-Mobile name. Again, I'll go to settings general about, and you'll see that the fields are now populated. It knows what network it is. Um, and then what I'll do is, holding this, I'll use my home phone to call this T-Mobile number on my newly unlocked 3G running 3.0 firmware. So I just place the call. It should come through any second. Um, in the meantime, we plan on releasing uh, Ultra Snow on Friday. Here's the call. First call on my 3G unlocked 3.0 firmware. Um, again, so we'll have the, um, we plan on releasing this on Friday. We have a few kinks to work out with the user end of it. But um, for more details and for specific questions, please visit our blog at blog.iphone-dev.org. Thanks for watching.